Winter is coming, and it's coming very quick in Gold Rush the game. Gotta say, I'm getting a little worried because uh, last night it actually snowed while I was mining all of this wonderful stuff here. But welcome back to Gold Rush, guys. Today we're obviously gonna get back out there, try and get as much gold as possible because I still have that giant loan that I have to pay off. And I'm hoping we can buy at least one or two upgrades as well. Now, I did a lot off recording. I have mined out that whole internal area that we were doing in the last episode, and I started mining a little further back just to see if there's any gold over there. So yeah, now we got a giant hole in the ground. Uh, we're probably gonna look for a new spot today. There might be some gold over there. Uh, I haven't done any drilling, though, and I don't want to spend the 2k to bring my drill back here to figure out if it's actually there. I know there's some more gold deep down over here, so I'll probably move over to there. And yeah, I'm not sure what upgrades we'll get today. Uh, people are mentioning the gas tank, which I actually need gas right now, so that's probably what we're going to be doing. And as you can see in the top right, I have 5,000 grams of gold without doing this washout right now, so we're probably going to get at least 6,000, probably a little bit more than that. I think that's our biggest... Uh, yield yet now the, a lot of that's gonna go to paying off that loan though I want to pay down that loan as much as possible because it's three days till winter now And I don't know if we're gonna be able to even mine at all in the winter I don't know if maybe even tomorrow the ground will start freezing. I have no idea So I'm getting really worried. I want to pay off this loan as quickly as possible But before we do that we obviously got to extract this gold out of here So let's start off this episode strong and hopefully we can get a good yield out of all this stuff Another thing I might want to do today, we have 5% in our magnetite separator. That doesn't sound like much, but we might be able to buy another blacksmithing upgrade. So we'll probably... actually... I'm not going to be able to bring that with me right now because I need to fill up my gas tank as well, unless I buy the giant gas tank. You know what? Yeah, we'll probably end up doing that. And look at that. Added 0 grams of magnetite into the bucket. So, one part of this process, I believe it's the in starting grates have no magnetite at all. So this is probably a really good bucket if it's the starting process. We'll see how good the gold is. All right, what's the damage? 291. Now, that's not that great, but, uh, I mean, 291 is still definitely good. I'm just hoping we can get the big 1,000. I want to get 6,000 grams of gold. If we can do that, I'll be very, very happy. Obviously, this process is going to slow down, though. That was one of the most uh, lucrative buckets, generally. So, we'll see. This is the sluice box buckets. These will only be probably 100 grams of gold. Uh, we'll see in 20% here if I am correct. And yeah, 128 G. So we're actually at a better spot than I was when we recorded. So that's good to know. We're going to get probably 128 Gs exactly in all these buckets, uh, which isn't bad at all. That's actually probably the best spot I've done in these last three extractions or four extractions. I've lost count at this point. And look at that. After all these washouts, I got a 16% bucket of magnetite. That's what I'm saying. It is so hard. Are we even going to go up a percentage here? Woo! 6%. Go us. All right, first load of mats going in. I love this gold nuggetator, man. It makes my life so much easier when I'm not derping around trying to put these damn things in, of course. I grab that one, put it... What? God damn it. So, yeah, this was 100% this time. I want to see how much of the bucket it fills. We might be able to get one bucket with all this. That's going to be a really great bucket of gold, too. Look at that stuff coming out of there. So you can see it's actually slowly filling up, too. That's pretty cool. Small details like that make this game, man. And yeah, 49%. So I know at least we can do it on, on, on another full load. Now, I wonder how different it is depending on what mats you're using. Because I was using the small uh, hog pan mats. I hope this bucket doesn't overflow. Usually it just stops anyways. Uh, I've never seen something actually overflow in this game. Uh, but we'll keep an eye on it. It actually looks like this is going to yield less than the last one. Wow, way less. 25% compared to 50. That's actually amazing. All right, that's rapidly going down. These things are cleaning way faster than it is filling up that bucket. So, yeah, we're going to be able to put all the dirt in one bucket. 94% there. Now, that wasn't a full mine. I think I had about 95% uh, when I did do the cleanout. So, obviously, we could put a little bit more in that bucket and probably overflow it. But for this, it actually worked out. So, yeah, this should be a really good bucket. I'm hoping, I'm praying it is at least. Okay, look at that. 12,000 grams of magnetite right there. And I'll throw that back in here because I might take this today. Did we hit the big seven? That's the question. Yes, we did. Okay, 7% full. Goddamn, son. All right, but the fun part. What are we at right now? 5,925. Please tell me this is a really good bucket. It might not be, you know? I, I, I don't know how good the moss mats truly are. What is it? 890 definitely beat my record. Goddamn, we were at some really good dirt there, clearly. That is by far our most profitable bucket yet. 
All right, so there we go. We had the washout. Now, I think we're going to go to Haynes right away. We will set up the uh, wash plant when we get back, just because I want to utilize this daytime, because it's already, as you can see, uh, going to be turning nighttime. I mean, days go so quick in this game, unfortunately. But yeah, real good clean out there. 7,000 grams. This is going to take a while to smelt, but we're going to have a lot of money in the bank, which is what we desperately need, uh, because I'm getting low on money, as you can see. 36 grand in the bank currently. Well, that took all night, but look at the back of my truck. That's the most gold bars that I've ever seen with a bunch of junk as well. I should really organize uh, soon because it's getting pretty bad back there. But I really hope that the stock's okay. We're at middle ground right now. Okay, so we got a scroll bar of beautiful 23 grand bars and a one worth 460. Okay, so we're gonna sell all this stuff right now because I need all the money I can get. This actually be, should be a pretty damn good payday, I'm thinking. Now, I did actually spend like 15 grand making these bars. That's the one downside of, of uh, blacksmithing is it does cost a lot of money too. But look at this, already at 165 grand. 235, we're definitely not in Frankenstein territory, but I can't complain when I think it was two days worth of mining gives me 300 grand. That's not too bad at all. Okay, let me actually see how my loan's doing. Now, I still have... Now, I'm assuming that after... Once we hit winter, we can't mine anymore. I'm hoping that's the case. I hope it doesn't start freezing over because what's the temperature tonight? 4.5 degrees Celsius. That's actually not bad. Last night, it was below zero. And that's what I'm really scared about. Is winter going to come early or anything like that? Because my total due is still 557 grand. Now, I've had big loans in the past, but nothing like this one. So... I'm gonna pay off the loan. I don't have to pay off the whole thing. So let's figure out what we wanna spend our money on today first. We'll definitely get some sort of upgrade, but we just have to be cautious of our money because of the winter if issue. If the winter wasn't coming, uh, I, I would be spending all this money. I wouldn't care at all, but I just don't know how long I have until the ground starts freezing. So my options are more fun vehicles. Mind you, we could upgrade our trommels and stuff as well. I don't know if we need to full tier 4 upgrades to move on to tier 4. I'm assuming which one would be tier 4. This is probably tier 4 and then this is probably tier 5. But I think you need all the tier 4 upgrades. I could be wrong on that. If you guys know in the comments below, let me know. Uh, so we're not going to buy any of the mining upgrades. We have two options though. The bulldozer for 90 grand and the front end loader for 129. Now, in the past, the bulldozer absolutely sucked. I know that. I could... What's the rental cost on this? Daily rental cost is $0, so I can't... I literally can't rent it? Oh, so I have to choose a quantity of them. Who the hell would buy multiples? I don't understand that. So we could rent out the bulldozer to try it out. I think that's actually a great idea, considering it's only three grand. I really, really want the front-end loader. So you know what I'm gonna do? This is only 17 grand. I'm gonna buy the fuel tank. Let's just get this done so I don't have to run to fuel or to Haynes every day to get damn fuel. Uh, so we're gonna add that to the bank. That's gonna be 17 grand. Oh, I'm so scared because it's a little expensive, but I could definitely afford it. Yeah, screw it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna need it sooner or later anyways. Let's buy the freaking front end loader. We're gonna add that. Now, the problem is we are going to have to upgrade our claim as well. So, this is taking a major risk, but uh, I've been spending money like crazy in this game the whole time, and it's been working out so far, so hopefully we can keep doing that. All right, so we want to go to, uh, not the storage space. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have, uh, I bought accidentally uh, another generator, so I could technically sell that. I don't know how to sell it, though, unless I actually brought it over. So I guess I could bring it over and try and sell it. So yeah, let's do that. We're going to bring the front end loader over, the big fuel tank. The question is, how do I fuel said fuel tank? Do I have to use the small fuel tank to fuel it? I don't remember. I used to have this thing. I just don't remember how it works. Okay, well, we're going to have to earn a lot of gold in the next couple of days here because this is ridiculous. Front end loader is going over, though, and that's five grand more right there. But I'm just not going to think about it. We're down to 122 grand. That's how easy it is to spend money on this game. And in a couple hours, 30 grand is going to be going away as well. So at this point, I'm not even going to pay off my loan at all. I just, I, I need this money just in case. But I will go get some gas, obviously, because I don't know if the gas tank comes with gas or what. So we really got to earn some money today. We basically have two more days of mining before winter. Uh, I'm hoping we can do another 300 grand day. If we can do two 300 grand days, that means I pay off my loan and we should be okay to survive the winter. 
I'm cutting this close though, a little too close for comfort. Hopefully it stays warm out like today, unlike yesterday where it was freezing. So, what we're gonna do right now, we have to move to a new location, uh, just because my current location has been totally mined out, pretty much. Uh, once again, we'll go to the gold map and just use the digs that we've done, which is quite a few of them, and kind of figure out where we want to go. So this is where I was mining. I'm actually wondering if we hit up any... We did hit this spot. This was actually some really good gold here. I'm actually just out of curiosity. Let me make sure I got that one. Um, we're going to toggle that square on. And the question is, I can see it. Part of it looks to be... Ooh, is this whole square still up? If this whole square is still up, this will be some really good dirt right here. We still have this little giant mountain thing. And yeah, you can see I've dug out the majority of it. But still, all this dirt here is really, really good. So, I wonder if I could park my excavator. This is probably dumb, but ex park it here and then load it up over here. Rather dangerous spot to park it. Um, that or we park it over on this side and have to go... You know what? It's actually not that big of a travel distance. I'd rather play it safe than sorry, because uh, this is definitely not b big enough to support the excavator. So we're going to bring the excavator over here, dig out this area a little bit more, dig it further back, because I think there's probably going to be some more better gold yields down here as well, because we only have one zone to see. I really should have done all these things, because, I mean, look, look at this stuff over here. This is all good. So I think this is some really good territory here. Another option would be to go down here. We have some really high yield gold way in the distance down here. I'll probably do this one after. I have to get a few more digs on this because uh, you can see it's really, really good. And it's right at the top, which is great. But yeah, for right now, I think this is a really good spot right here. We've done pretty much all this, I'm pretty sure. Let me just, once again, easiest way to check. Actually, no, we can dig deeper over here too. So yeah, I thought this was bigger than... I clearly measured it, so we can even dig over here. As we dig through this stuff, we can just move up. All right, so this is good. There's a lot of dirt here, a lot of really good golden dirt, and uh, we don't have to bring the drill to find this stuff. So let's move the excavator over, refuel, and get working. Because, yeah, this hole, I mean, we pretty much mined out. This is, I mean, we did a lot of mining here, as you can see. The one thing I would like the bulldozer for is for all this bumpy stuff down here, very hard to grab. It'd actually be really cool if we could bulldoze this into a big pile. Because this is good pay dirt down here, it's just not much of it. So I'll probably rent the bulldozer when we get another big hole. Try and see if it can do that, because the bulldozer is buggy in this game. And if it can, it might be worth it to buy it for doing things like that. Oh yeah, that's right, we have a front-end loader, too. I should probably try out that thing. I think we might stick with the excavator, though, just because I'm so good with it now. But I do want to try out that front-end loader because it's got, obviously, a much bigger bucket. We'll bring that over once I bring this over. All right, so everything's set up. Let's try out this beautiful beast. Now, I don't know if we'll be using this today. You really need to use this on hills, and you kind of just dig forward, obviously. You can't really dig down like an excavator. Uh, so with the hole that we're currently working in, it doesn't really make sense to use this, but I do want to try it out and see if it can fit inside the dump truck. Now, what you really want to use this for is before you buy the dump truck, this thing would be perfect for filling up that uh, hopper as quickly as possible. We already have the dump truck, though, so this thing's going to have much less uses, I'm thinking. Uh, but we're still going to try it out down here. What I'm going to do, uh, I'm just going to see if this will reach the top of the dump truck. It looks like it definitely will, and it's been so long, I have no idea what the controls are in this thing. Uh, arm up, arm down, blade up, blade down. So very simple controls on this one. Very slow hydraulics on this thing, but can we fill it? It looks like indeed we would be able to. So you know what? This is great. That means I know there's some decent dirt over here, and it means I can kind of search for this stuff and see how quickly this thing fills this. So we're going to bring that blade down. I know it's really dark right now and you can't really see. You just have to believe that I'm doing it. <laughs> but it might be worth it, even if I'm a bit slower, to use this thing in certain scenarios. So there we go, 12%. So the excavator gives about 7% on a full load. I'm pretty sure that was a full load there. Uh, so not bad. Not bad at all. Problem with this thing is there's a lot of setup and you have to be extremely skilled with it, at least in my opinion, to do it right. And I'm actually, like, stuck in the ground right now. There is a lot of strategy to this game. Okay, and it'd be nice if I could do this during daytime. So I think we're going to stop this until daytime. But as you can see, if I can start building a wall here and easily just start hitting the wall, 
This actually wouldn't be too bad at all. <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh, that, that, that could have ended badly. So I'm experiencing some pretty major lag since we uh, started this. Oh, what am I hitting? Oh, there's a generator here. That's right. That's annoying. I mean, a dump truck sh should just be able to totally destroy that thing. But yeah, I've been experiencing some pretty bad lag, making it very hard to drive fast, especially in things like the dump truck. So uh, hopefully that goes away soon because it's at 20 FPS, as you can see on the side. I don't know if it's because of the weather or what, but it is still storming like crazy. Mother Nature really doesn't like me. And uh, still, what's the temperature right now? Yeah, one, negative 1 1.9 degrees Celsius. Which means the ground might start slowly freezing here. I really hope it doesn't, but uh, yeah, let's try and get as much dirt out as we can before then. Now, I have been targeting this one zone pretty aggressively uh, once we get this load done here. It should be a 6%. Yeah, not bad, not bad at all. Uh, but yeah, it's actually deeper than I thought. I've dug probably about, since you last saw, I want to say five feet deeper. And if we go down here, we should see, if I can play with the camera a little bit. Actually, it's not letting me see too well now. Okay, yeah, you can see right here, we're right by bedrock. So we pretty much mined out this whole place. We should hopefully get one more dump truck worth with just the sides. Um, but yeah, then we're probably going to move over to the, the other front end loader spot. Because it should hopefully be daytime by the time I'm done this bucket. It's already 7 in the, in the morning. It's just, oh, that was a pretty bad aim there. Still got 12%. Uh, it's daytime right now, but it's overcast, so it's still extremely dark. Okay, it's nice and uh, bright right now. So we're going to try and use this front end loader. And i got to say, I'm pretty excited about this now. I'm going to try and strategize this the best I can. We're going to put the dump truck right beside this so we hopefully don't have long travel times. Putting it behind it, no, that wouldn't be a good idea because we're going to build a... A hole. Obviously, getting around the hole would be a pain in the butt, so I think to the side of it is the best option. All right, I actually timed how long it took me to fill the uh, last dump truck with the excavator, and I did screw up a little bit, but it took me close to two hours. More specifically, it was about an hour 40, so I'm going to test it out again with this. I'm just curious to see what's faster, this or the excavator. Now, I'm very much a noob at this one, though, so... Probably won't be fair. I'm gonna dump this bucket out because it's probably really bad stuff actually. Oh god. Oh man. Okay. Just trying to lift it. See, the problem with this thing is you need like 15 fingers. Uh, because you have to drive the vehicle while you're playing with the uh, hydraulic controls. The benefit of the excavator is you turn on this when you need it. So I'm gonna, it's gonna take me a while to get used to this, and this might be a bad time to measure how fast this is, but. What time is it now? 9.20. So if we can get it by 11.20, I say we're golden. All right, so let's get digging here. I'm gonna try and dig at the back of it first. And that's not even digging at all. See, I look, look at my wheels too. They're actually off the ground. Come on, baby. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. So you just gotta drag it across the surface. It's very hard to do that though. I just don't like the fact that I don't have the ac accuracy of the excavator, at least with my current skill set. So, there we go. Drop it down just like that. Bam. Bam. That was good. That was actually pretty decent. Still not full, though, as you can see. So, come on, baby. Come on. There we go. Now we're digging ourselves a grave. Oh, this could get bad really quickly. And this is where I might need the excavator's help. All right. That should be a pretty good load, though. There we go. Already 25%. God, if this was as easy to use as the excavator, I would be in heaven right now. I think it's actually going to beat the excavator, though. Unless I royally screw this up somehow. And even with... Let's also acknowledge that I'm very much new at this. So, with the handicap, it should have been slower, that's for sure. So, is it better than the excavator? I don't know. I don't like the fact that I can't accurately pinpoint exactly where I want to dig with this thing. And, as you can see, I'm having more issues now because I lowered it too much. So we kind of got to build like just a giant line with this. That's the best way I found. Just kind of drag along the ground as you can see. Fill it up. Not really pinpoint exactly where the dirt is or the gold is. So if you had like a big mine site that had gold everywhere, this would be amazing. Because you could just like slowly scrape layers off the top. Unfortunately, with the current mine site that I'm at, oh god. Excavator's going to fall in that hole. Uh, it's just the gold is very sporadic. So you really got to use... I, I feel like the excavator to pinpoint exactly where that gold is, but will this fill it? Oh, see, the problem is I'm getting so high with the dirt now I can't get in there. Yeah, there we go, 98% at 11.09. So it beat 
the excavator. That's actually crazy. It's just my accuracy. If I practice a little bit more, I'd definitely be better. But the accuracy with this is just not the best. And we really didn't get too much of the good stuff, unfortunately. Mind you, as you can see, Bedrock is basically right there. So we should, she'll still should have a very good dump truck full. All right, if my math is correct, though, this should be the final dump. And we should be ready for another cleanout. So not bad. Uh, we got a cleanout before 12. That's generally good. You can do about two cleanouts a day if you work it really hard and really fast. So I'm pretty happy with that. Really wish this storm would go away. And I'm also extremely worried that it's still negative degrees Celsius out. 1.9. And it hasn't gotten any hotter even knowing the sun's come out. So I'm thinking... It's probably going to start freezing here. Did I turn this off? Yeah, it's hard to tell because I can't hear it. But yeah, we should see 58. Wait. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, we do have one more dump truck for it, don't we? Okay, clearly I did miss my math there. So I guess we can try an, an, another front end and, and loader worth. Because I don't really want to use my excavator right now. As you can see, it's going to have some problems when we move that thing. All right, so we've already cleaned everything. Just waiting on the final few with the gold nuggetator. How we do it this time? 75% bucket, it looks like. Yeah, it's going to be about exactly that. Perfect. Okay, so I mean, that makes sense. We got a 75% yield on this extraction. So there should be 75% in this bucket. Okay, so I'm hoping if we can get 1,600 grams, I'd be so happy because 1,600 grams is a really good run with 100%. If we can do that with 80... Man, that would be amazing. Won't know until we try, though, so let's turn everything on. Man, it's already... Jeez, man. Wa washing out this thing really does take a long time still, even with all these great tools that make it faster. It's already uh, 3 in the afternoon. So I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible because I need to earn lots more money before winter comes. Thankfully, as you can see, it did finally get uh, a good temperature out. 7 degrees out right now, so not bad, not bad at all. After that storm, it seemed to relax a little bit. All right, here comes the first bucket. Now, I have no idea what each of these buckets are. Some of them are going to be good. Some of them are going to be not so good. And uh, hopefully, overall, we should get a lot of gold. It's not looking good yet. Man, this is going to be a really poor bucket. That must have been a duplex jig bucket with 88 grams. That's not very good at all. Uh, have to hope higher up in our system we'll get some big gold nuggets because that was at the bottom of our system. And we'll probably want eight, sorry, four of these buckets are going to be 88 grams. We at least know that. All right, this is going to be a big one because we had zero Gs of magnetite. So this is probably at the top. Oh, God, please tell me this is at least good. It's not going up as fast as I hoped for, that's for sure. I keep doing that. i got to bring an empty bucket so we can put it down here. 317 grams. Yeah, that, that for, man, we were really on the gold at the start of this episode. 800 grams in one bucket. That is freaking crazy. All right, is this another 88? Yes, that's another 88. I think. I think this is probably another 88 too. After this, man, we only got one bucket left, do we? Yeah, it's one bucket plus the one going through it. God, one of these buckets I know is gonna be really good though. I don't think it's gonna be as good as I hoped for though. All right, is this another 88? It's looking like it. Okay, so that means, yeah, that was 88 right there. If that means that this is the good bucket. I like how I did the best one last, unintentionally, of course. Come on, baby. Give me something good here. 800, 900. It's going up pretty quick, actually. Can we get the big 1600? No, it's slowing down now. Why does it do that? It actually speeds up and slows down from time to time. Okay, well, I can't complain when it's 600 grams of gold, though. That was a happy ending to that very worrying yield that we were getting at the start there. Still, I mean, that's not that's definitely not bad at all. 1,300 grams for a 75% yield is very, very good. So if we would have got 100%, that would have been probably, what, 17, 1,800? So I can't really complain with that. All right, guys. Well, we're going to wrap up this one here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Gold Rush. Next episode, well, winter's going to be coming. So we're going to figure out what the hell happens then. And hopefully we can pay off that monstrous loan by then because that's what we really got to focus on now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching and liking. And I'll see you in the next one.